I love that picture a lot. To remind myself, ¿por qué me casé con esta mujer? <laughs> you was young, girl. Look at that. Is that, is that Agustin? That is. It's got to be him, because he's the only one that walked. And how many Over. sheep did we have then? Ninety. We started with ninety. And we well, had, we had, I started, I had ninety by the time we got married, just put it that way. And we still had chickens. I'll be dead. <laughs> That didn't last very long. There's Augustine again with some some of the sheep. How old was Augustine there? He was only about four. Oh, okay. Four or five maybe. He was, how old was 30 Augustine? Thirty years. That's about. Wow. <laughs> Look at those guys. That's crazy. Just have to sort the churros from the from the rambolets and turn the bucks out with each group. This is not the best time to breed. It's the best time for us, but it's, you know, as far as getting multiple births, this is not the best time. You want to do it earlier in the season. But our concern is more survival, right? We want them born when there's some green grass or some green feed on the on the ground, and they use milk better. So. If it gets a good start and the mother's got good milk and she mothers up to him well, they take off the rest of the year. But if they struggle the first two weeks, forget it. You know, they've struggled their whole life. He doesn't know how to handle the dogs at all. Bert, come here! This guy hasn't been around sheep very much, so he don't know what he's doing all the time. That's where we're going to miss Sam in these situations. I was in Durango and a couple of days ago, and just working with Bert. Wasn't it the same? Have to find another, another dog, start from scratch. It's not the first time we've done it, so I guess we can do it again. Come here, Bert. Come here. Bert, come here. Bert! See? He don't pay attention. Easy! Come on, Jenny. No, they'll come up. They, they know what we want. Opalosh! Easy, easy, Bert, Bert, Bert. Easy, 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 easy. Push, push, push! Easy, Jenny. Easy, easy. Hoi, hoi, hoi! Push, push. Push, push. We separate the churros to one pasture, so we breed them just churro to churro. And white face ones leave up here and we turn out the ramps that we're going to use that year with them. Hijola! Este si tiene talega, ve. Está bueno. Este si tiene. El de los mejores. Este si tiene. Con que trabajar. I'm checking the, the balls basically to see if they're good. I don't have any epididymitis, we call it. It's like a venereal disease, I guess you could say. That makes them still. Ya tiene cinco. Ocho. Nueve. 
10, 11, 12, 13. 13 hay para pa 400 fácil. Ok, boys. To the job. They better know what to do, stupid things. Some do. We like to leave the rams in with the use for 34 days. Two heat cycles, basically. Saben mejor la borraja que los carneros. Ah, de una vez. Yes, sir. You can get away with two per hundred, but it depends on the situation and how good the rams are. Some of these are new rams. Uh, see, they don't know. They'll get, they'll get the hang of it. See those old guys there, right? They, they take off. They don't want to hang out with just one. Está loco. Con tanta borrega hay. Tanto que hacer y venirse para atrás. Ya. El ajerán maricón. Hay uno que sí anda maricón. ¿Ah, sí? Ey. Chila. ¿No es ese? Yo creo que sí, eh. Él está agarrando otro borrego. Ahí vamos a poner tu campo ahí. Déjalo ahí, ponlo ahí si quieres. The winter was okay into January, and then in January we started losing some stock. Snow, yeah, it doesn't bother us that much, but wind, wind's a killer. I see. Para hacerme
este es el nuevo mexicano que se encuentra por mi tierra y también un anciano porque el joven anda fuera porque el joven anda fuera Molly and I used to share everything ourselves. And then we started having kids, and so she had to stop. And I shared, I shared them all by myself one year. I sort the grays and the blacks and the light grays and the whites. You don't contaminate the wool with all colors. Bert, Bert, easy, 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 easy. <laughs> We're skirting the faces, taking off the undesirable parts so that they can be made into yarn. We sort the, the sheep and do all the rambouille first. And then we do the churros, but we also sort them according to color. And it comes in a lot of natural colors, from white to black. And it takes the dye very well also. So you get, you have the whole range of natural colors and then get the beautiful dyed colors also. We use the Rambouille to make uh, bedding, blankets for bedding, because it's soft and it's better for apparel yarn and that kind of thing. We make a knitting yarn with it also. Blanket? Nope, rug. Let's go rug with that one. I grew up in a cattle ranching family and I like cattle a lot, but over the years I've gotten very fond of the sheep because they do, they do give a lot. In Spanish we say la borrega es muy agradecida, meaning the sheep is a grateful animal. It'll give you its wool, its lamb, and then, you know, when her life is about over, her life too, basically, for mutton. So, it's true. separate the twins out first, if we can. Esa negra tiene dos. Yeah. Pero además esta, esta poca bronca, esa no los pierde. We don't normally try to help sheep lamb. We like to leave them alone as much as we can. The real heavy lambing only lasts about, about 20 to 21 days. Lambing, I think, would be the hardest, the hardest time of the year, because it's intense, because you're trying to save all these lambs and and you have a lot of enemies fighting you. You have the weather, you have the, the predators. You have to be out there paying attention all the time. I don't know if that's a set in the front or not. It's very intense. It's a lot of work, but it's the time of the year that makes or breaks the sheep business. I actually really like this time of the year. I like the hard work. Honey. I'm gonna put him with the other, with that you has got the other little black lamb okay. in the jail, and I'm gonna release one from jail. Uh. 
Ahí déjala por ahora. You know, sometimes a lamb shows up, but who does he belong to? Well, nobody knows, and, and then so you have to try to pair him up. And many times you don't, but it's just really intense. Yo digo que los dos son de Fue a que te equivocado, pero no creo. Ahí lo deja mamar al chiquito este. Trae mucho hambre. No, muy volteado. No está muy buena, no está muy... Ah, muy querendona, no. No. Ah, ah. No lo quiere. Pero déjame ver. A ver. A ver si es de a este. It's very satisfying. Because you... You gotta save as many lambs as you can. Okay. This ewe, her lamb died. So we had this little lamb there. His mother didn't have uh -huh. enough milk for two of them. So we put him on her, we grafted him. And this one, this one just so he firm up with her. That's her lamb. But this ewe had, had tried to steal a lamb from another ewe. She was insistent that the other lamb was hers, but it wasn't, it was from another churro ewe. Then she lambed and just walked away from this one, still wanted the other one. So we're just firming him up with her, that's all. She's, she'll be all right. This one showed, showed up without a lamb yesterday, and that lamb's mother died, so we're gonna graft him on her. This one, she'll let him nurse. As long as they're in the jail here, she'll let this little guy nurse. But you turn her out over there, then she decides she doesn't want him anymore. And that's it. Andale, patrona, vienes arrastrándote ahí. See, like that. That used to be a little dairy. Of course, when Creamland came in, it killed all the little dairies. That little building over there, my Uncle Frank used to have a, little, a dairy there, and they'd sell the milk to Foremost. And, they, you know, there was a route through here. Foremost had a route. There was other people that had little dairies, and they'd milk the cattle there. And that's Plaza Blanca over there, across the river. My great-grandfather, ran a band of sheep, and then my grandfather had a band of sheep also. It was big sheep country. No, it's okay. Ahora no es nada, es un punito. La Capilla de San Miguel, the church we used to have mass here on Saturdays. As far as I know, there's only two herded bands of sheep that do it the old traditional way. It's only two of them left in New Mexico outside of the Navajo Reservation. That used to be my Uncle Frank's house right there, the one that ran the dairy. And I grew up in this house that they're tearing down now. It wasn't blue. They're tearing it down. And that used to be my grandfather's place there too. It, it's just abandoned, it got sold, and they've just let it deteriorate. La Casa de Manardoro, Villa Emilia, they had four boys. That's where they lived. And that's it, that's, that's all of La Puente. But all the houses used to be inhabited. I don't even like to come through town too much anymore because I see, you know, the, you know, if I won the lottery, I'd do some rural renewal instead of urban renewal. I'd probably clean it up and try to get it populated again with some nice homes there. So yeah, it makes me sad, but you know, that's the world changes. This is happening all over the United States, all over rural America. We know that. My job, there's so many rural towns in New Mexico that the same thing's happening. I mean, we were just down in the Lordsburg area. And there's just a lot of places are, there's nothing happening there.
ver qué tantas entraron. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. ¿Vos no las contaste allá? Sí, las conté, pero se me olvidó la cuenta. Pero ahí están todas. Oye, no, ¿no te ha salido ni una de tres o cuatro? Una. Imagínate. Un año me salieron a mí 20. Y todavía estaba mi hija aquí en la escuela. Y le dije, si los llevo para la casa, los puedes cuidar todavía. Te pago, le dije. Te pago por acá, borreo, que me salves. Le dije, te pago... 40. 40. Creo que 40 dólares. Te pago acá, borreo, que salves, le dije. Pues yo dije, no, se le van a morir varios, no, pues. No, no se le murió ni uno. Le salí debiendo 3 mil dólares a mi hija. ¿Cómo? Pero yo, pendejo, pues yo haberle dicho, te pago 25, no 50. <risa> bueno, mientras que nos vamos para la cantina. <risa> We just don't know how many more years we can pull it off. Every year, is, this time of the year is the toughest time of the year. We make all our money <coughs> in a month. From the time we shear to the time we finish lambing, which is approximately a month. And everything that we, de that we depend on happens in that month. Because if we have no wool, we have no product, no yarn, no woven, Goods, no, nothing with the wool. And if we have no lambs, well, we have no, no product to sell either. We have no income. So really, we make all our income within 30 days of the year. That's the way I look at it. And that's why we really, really focus on these 30 days. About three days ago, I told Antonio, this is, this is so, I feel so good. Because I, I enjoy the lambing and everything that we do here. But th that day, it just seemed like we were just a team and we didn't even have to talk. We just, everything was, it was very smooth and it just felt really good. It felt good. Well, we don't have to duck because I've trained you really well. Oh, sure. <laughs> No, we just, well, we learned it together, we, and we developed it together, and here it is. You know, if something happens to either you or I, just independent of what's going to happen if we both, nothing happens to us and we just get old, der, <laughs> um, it would be pretty, it would be pretty tough for just one person to take it, to take it I off. ask that question a lot. What's oh. going to happen? Oh, what yeah. are we going to do? Mommy asks that question all the time. Well, what's going on? What's he, going on? He doesn't you don't like have to a hear. plan. You don't have a plan. He doesn't like to hear it. And I don't. I don't like to hear it. Just go along. The plan is kind of is developing itself, in a sense, with us along with it. Molly and I discuss this all the time. My friends and I discuss this all the time. This is not just our uh, a problem with our family. This is all over the West, I'm sure. And transitions are, are kind of hard. Our kids are struggling, I think, with whether to come back home and take over the business or not. We have a son who's in the service, has been in the service for about eight years. We have a daughter that's come back home now who's, uh, who's an artist. We have an attorney who works in Massachusetts, a daughter who's a veterinarian. It's really hard to say what our kids are going to do. Uh, we think we've built a business, the business up to where it's just a matter of stepping into it and taking over and running with it. But, uh, you know, it's tough work. Their kids grew up in it. They've seen what we, how, how we struggled and you can't really blame them for it not wanting to work this hard. <laughs> so I, I, I don't regret it. I'm, I'm happy that we did this. I'm, I'm still content doing what I do. And uh, I'll do it till I can't do it anymore or till somebody comes in and says, move over, old man, I'm, we're going to do it now. Uh. Right around the 5th of June, we can get up on the forest so we trail the sheep. It takes us about four days to get there because we're going with little lamps, small lamps. 
We had to truck them last year because the creeks were so swollen, we figured we'd move across the creeks with the lambs. It's a little easier to haul them. It just takes one day. When we go on the trail, it takes three or four days. And there's a lot of planning logistics of how to get the camps here and the people here and everything. So, yeah, I think that's it, basically. Not enough help. Getting tired. We're getting tired. Push, push, push. Cayó agua ayer, mm. aquí. Uh -huh. Y de temprano, duró mucho el agua, el rayo, sí. mucho burlote. ¿No has visto coyotes, Kiki? Sí. Están esperando sí. que te vayas, nomás te vas tú y le van a atacar a tu papá. No, de veras que no se han visto, pero también... ¡Raro! Está raro. Pero que... también los perros, y vieras que en la noche nos está llegando un animal allí diario. Dice Kiki que ya van algunos. ¿Los lobos? Serán lobos. ¿Cómo huyan, Kiki? This is not like a coyote. It's kind of like yeah. a more mournful type sound. Yeah, like a deeper sound. Pero, pero el perro. Pero donde se oye, se oye cerquita o se oye lejos. Yeah, it's como, no, it's no, yo no la barranca allá. Entonces corretan las borregas como se meten. Ah. Los robles. Oh. No, que allá abajo se voltearon una entre el montecito y otras para allá. Y nosotros vamos todo el bordo hasta allá abajo. Y cuando veníamos para arriba que las vamos viendo a salir allí, allá donde vi el cerrito. Allí mero lo vi. De. Ahí mero lo viste. Sí, eh, donde unos salamitos altos. No. Pues yo estuve en la sombra y me quedaba el cerrito como ese pinito arribita. ¿Pero algún tesoro por ahí? Yo sé que no me crees, pero es cierto. Yo lo vi. De. Es como, el, como la, el tanque aquel que le pusimos, el tanque del... ¿Cómo le, cómo, cómo le dijiste que había visto allá? Fantasma. Un fantasma, a ese le dijimos el tanque del fantasma, ahora oh. le cambiamos el nombre. <risa> ese era el tanque del Salomón, ahora le dijimos el tanque del fantasma. Oh. El fantasma. Mingo es mi banker. Tengo que pagar a estos guys bien, porque, you know, they're like your bankers, they got all the money in front of them. Se ven muy poquitas. Aquí abajo andan más. Ya iban saliendo otras. A lot of people don't realize that. They consider the lowest person on the totem pole, but they've got all their money on the hoof, right there in front of them, all summer long. The lowly shepherd. Bueno. Al rato damos otra vuelta. Él no tiene mucho chiste, digo, cuidado borregas para mí. Pues nomás no dejarlas todo el día solas, que vayan, porque después no las hayas todas. Se van entre el monte y no las ves y ya se quedan. Ahí donde hay bosque, todo eso hay, hay de esos animales. Aquí hay lobo, aquí hay gato, hay oso, hay leones también. Todos esos animales comen la borrega. Eso es todo, y se iban muy lejos, voltearlas, para echarlas y para acá. Y ya se juntan. No tiene mucho, mucha ciencia ser pastor. Y luego los perros también ayudan mucho. 
mucho ayuda. Y sin perro, pues trabaja más el caballo y uno, pues. Porque aquí uno está donde están y voltearlas. Y el perro muchas veces va solo. Se devuelve donde están. As a kid, I always liked to come up here to the mountains and get on the horse and all, and all that kind of stuff, just learn about the animals. But lately, yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been spending quite, quite, a, quite a time with him and see what I can learn from him because he's taught me a lot of things since I was little. <coughs> Go the dogs. Los coyotes. Ya esta cosa ya está, señor. Eh? Is this mostly canned food? Yeah, it's kind of difficult at first, but then you get used to it after a while. We feel tired, we eat early or brush my teeth and go to bed. A comer. I would say we traveled about 14 miles the first day, but we have to trail through the forest and through some private land. And we can only travel on certain days because they hunt on those private lands and they don't like us going through when they're hunting, so. We try to accommodate them, and they try to accommodate us. because I'm a little more hot-tempered. I'm not that patient with the traffic. And if they come in and start honking and stuff, I kind of lose it. I dented a guy's hood with a rope one time because he came up honking at us. And that was not fun. We come out on Highway 64 up there about 11 and a half miles from Tierra Maria. And we trail all the way down to 84 and we go about a mile on 84, and then we go back north again for a couple miles to the ranch. Normally then, we'd like to take the sheep to some kind of winter range. We used to take, have a winter range up in the Tres Piedras area, but now we're looking for something else, because Forest Service is not cooperating very well, <laughs> to put it nicely. In 1982, I think was, might have been the first year that we took them out to the forest 
because that was when our oldest son was, I was expecting him. And we've been doing it, I guess, for about 32 years is how long we've been coming back and forth. It's just who I am. I, I right now have the extra job in town and, but this is, this is really who I am. So I really, it's just comfortable. Yeah, even when the weather's bad and it's, even when it's bad, it's good. That's right. Even when your horse is giving you fits, it's, it's all right. <laughs> the worst part of the whole thing is when you need to go to the bathroom and there's all these guys around and you got a hundred pieces <laughs> of clothes on and that's the hardest thing of the whole day. <laughs> it brings back a lot of memories of the what we used to do, bringing the cattle down and gathering in the fall. I have a book called Tough by Nature. It's written by some lady that spent 19 years um, interviewing women, ranch women, and drawing sketches and paintings of them and just a short interview. And there's one lady that said, if there's a woman that can pretty much do everything. It's because she had a dad that said, you can do whatever. And he didn't say, you're a girl, you can't do this. And that's us. This day is a stressful one because of all the traffic and dealing with the public. And I don't know if you saw how many how many cars we had lined up behind us there on the highway, but people enjoy seeing it because they used to see it a long time ago, and, and then we're the only ones that they see now. So we're the last of the Mohicans. Ya no nos acabamos nosotros y se acabó parece. You never know. Somebody will decide they want to do it. I hope. And if they don't, pues se acaba. This is todo. Oh, it makes me feel honored and proud in many ways, but it also makes me sad that it's going to be gone. It makes me sad in a way because people have lost so much connection. We're two, three, sometimes even four generations removed from agriculture anymore, and so people don't know where their food comes from. So. Makes me, that makes me a little sad. It makes me angry too sometimes when I when I market the stuff and people complain about the price or something. They don't know what goes into it. What really you have to do to get that food to their table. Que más te puedo decir? Thank you.